everybody, my name is Anton. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can create your very own Discord bot. All right, so the couple things that you need is first thing you got to make sure you have a Discord account. Got to make sure you have the Discord client itself, right? The second thing that you need is you need Node, right? And what Node is, it basically is a JavaScript runtime uh, built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. I'm just reading that right off the, the website description. But you get the idea. So basically what it allows you to do is if you, you should know JavaScript, first of all, right? It allows you to build applications, very powerful applications, and run them on your desktop, right? Server-side applications. So it's really good. Um, it's actually very, very popular. You can do a lot more research if you want. Um, and I'm also still learning Node, but I've been playing around with, uh, I mean, Node.js, but I've been playing around with the Discord, uh, Discord module. Right? And this is also the next thing you need. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just make sure you download this off of the website. Right. The second thing you'd want to do is after you finish downloading it, is you just want to go copy copy this. Go into your CMD or command line or terminal, whatever you're on. Copy this, paste it, and then this will allow you to, this will give you the, uh, you're basically downloading the, the discord.javascript module, right? It allows you to interact with the Discord API, blah, 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 right? And that's pretty cool. So I'm not really going to show you guys how to install it. Um, it's very, very easy. If you guys have any questions, you can just ask me. But I actually just want to get into the code, right? But before we get into the code, let's just make sure we have a couple things. First, you got to make sure you set up a uh, your very own server, right? Very own server. I have my own server set up, right? Next thing you're going to want to do is just make sure you go to Discord. Go to More, Developers, right? Go to My Apps. Go ahead and create... A new app, right? You can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it a uh, let's see, Superman bot. Uh, I'll just call it a uh, hmm, CS Superman bot. It doesn't really matter. Super bot. Cool. Create the app. Make sure you create a bot user. Click that, and you can do whatever you want with this. The next important thing you want to do is just make sure go to client ID, right? And also make sure these things, no one else sees them. Uh, it's okay for me to show you guys this because it doesn't really matter because I'm just using a test server So it's not like it matters and this is just a test bot really which I'm going to de deleting anyways So once you've done this right once you've done all this go ahead and copy this I'm going to put a link in the description to this link right over here You're going to want to go to uh, discordapp.com forward slash OAuth2 forward slash authorize question mark client underscore ID equals and then right over here you're going to paste that client ID that you just saw right over here that client ID right over here paste that and then ampersand or the and symbol scope equal bot enter and then this will take you to this page and then uh, click on the server that you want to add the bot to so right now you can see it's my server it doesn't have anything once I click authorize it will add the bot over there right and then we're pretty much good to go all right so I'm gonna close this out real quick I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna close this so now uh, the only thing I really need next is the token, which we'll use that for later. I'm going to copy that real quick. So now you go into a text editor. You can go to whatever you want. You can use Atom, Notepad, Visual Studio Code, really anything really. Um, so what you're going to do first is you're going to go ahead and create a new file. right? And I think what I'll do is I'll probably just save this as a JavaScript file. Right? And I'll save it as a, let's see, I'll call it a tutorialbot.jpg. JS for JavaScript, right? Go ahead and save that to wherever you want, right? And because I'm using Visual Studio, um, I can easily just run my bot using the terminal through here, which is really awesome, right? But it's the same thing as same thing as uh, it's the same thing as running the bot on the command line too. It's the same exact thing because it's really just almost the same thing, or maybe they are. I don't know. Who cares? All right. Anyway, so the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and create a variable or a constant, right? Constant. Call it Discord, right? Because, you know, you can call it whatever you want, really. But this allows us to, um, basically, you want to create, as, as a, for good practice, you want to create variables that help you memorize uh, what you are using that variable for, right? So now you're going to say require. This is going to basically kind of like import the entire module. You're, you're requiring it in order to use it. You have to require it, right? Required discord.js, right? Semicolon. So now this entire variable Discord, which is a constant, right? It now has all of this, all these resources, it has this entire module, so we can use it for other things, whatever you want, right? So now I'm going to create another constant called the client, and this is going to represent our client, which is what we're going to do most of the things with. Uh, well, basically for basically, you know, a, a small bot that does you know commands and output stuff, 
I mean, really, you're really going to be using the client a lot, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other advanced tutorials on Discord bots. For now, we're just going to start off with the basics, right? So now, const client is equal to new. You're going to create a new Discord, right? Discord dot clients, right? And it actually shows you the nice thing I like about this is you can see all of these things right over here. These are all part of the Discord module, right? And you can probably go into the documentation too. Let me see if I can open that up real quick. Because I want to show you guys where these things are coming from, right? And like I said, I'm still learning these things, so please bear with me. If I do make a mistake, feel free to correct me. Um, but let me see if I can find base opus. But you can see all these things are it's pretty cool. It shows you, you know, all these things right over here. Audio player. We're not really gonna work with a lot of these a lot of these other things for now, because you know I, I don't really, I haven't learned the entire module yet, the entire library. But uh, I sh I'm, but right now I know some of the basics so far. Anyway, so but the main important thing is you're gonna want to create a new Discord client. Let's go ahead and capital C, right? Remember, it's case sensitive, so you know make sure you uh, have everything all good. So now I've created a new Discord client and stored it into this uh, constant variable, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create another constant token. I'm going to, whoops, base op. I'm going to go back, copy my token. We're going to, we need this to log into, we need, we need this to log the bot into the client. And if anyone ever sees your token, like let's say for example, you accidentally show someone your token, just go ahead and generate a new one. Very, very easy. But I'm not going to do that, right? So let's just go ahead, go ahead and copy that real quick, paste that. Make sure it's in between a, a quotation marks or single quotes, right? So that way the notes has a, a literal, right? So now we're going to go ahead and log the bot in. So I'm going to say client dot, right? You can see all the other methods too, right? All the other methods you could do, all the other methods you could do with the the client, right? You do client. Uh, this is the one we're gonna want to do. Well, no, login. My bad. So client login, right? You're going to want to pass in a token variable as an argument, right? So now this says, okay, client login using the bots token. So now it'll actually log in, right? So I think if I go ahead and run this, let me see if I actually if I can actually run this real quick. Let me uh. Okay, cool. So let me go create a new terminal instance of a terminal right I'm gonna go ahead so to run your bot just type in node make sure you're in the right directory the name of the JavaScript file so yep there we go so superbot is online but it's not gonna do anything yet so I think that's pretty straightforward um, so I'm gonna actually split these tutorials up into like you know different uh, different segments so you know right now we got the basics so far we were able to log in the bot um, in my next video, I'm going to show you guys how to do more things with it. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, please check out the other video that I'm going to put up. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.